2026, Google is dead. It's over. Back it up. Google's stealing our traffic and AI overviews. We're not even getting these clicks anymore, guy. Focus on Reddit. It's Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. It's all I fucking hear is Reddit. Google only SEO is over in 2026. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sound of a dying breed. That is the sound of the guru class of 2016 realizing they are obsolete. They say Google is stealing the traffic. I say let them fucking have it. Look at this right here. It's a contact form, my contact form, directly inside of AI overviews. The user never visits the website, never visits my GMB, maps listing, not my ads, fucking Reddit, none of that. Nobody is getting on ChatGPT to find their plumber. Nobody is on fucking Reddit looking for a personal injury attorney while they're bleeding out on the side of the road. It is Google only. It's always been Google only. Let's fucking go. And we got free shit. I'm gonna crack the nut and actually get start getting some phone calls again. You need to think of Google as more of a recommendation engine, like a TikTok or a YouTube, than an actual search engine. I'm gonna prove it now. You need to understand the contextual multi-arm bandit algorithm. Every large tech corporation from Amazon to Walmart to whatever uses this. As you can see, yes, it gets its name from a slot machine, like a one arm bandit, right? This is exactly why the Google's Local 3 Pack is a contextual decision-making system and not a ranking algorithm. The 3 Pack is not some top three list that we got to get our rankings up there and we're going to show up. That's why you're not getting calls. Probabilistic selection, like Thompson-style sampling, right? What we want to go over is businesses are based on their posterior probability of satisfying the user, not fixed rank. Explosion equals higher confidence actions. Exploration equals limited testing under risk and selection equals probabilistic, not deterministic. No business holds a position. Okay. It's continuously resampled. Contextual reward and personalization. This system considers variables such as the user's current history, where they are going, the direction of travel, time of day, previous searches, device type, blah, 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 everything else. The deep learning integration that uses neural networks to produce these complex like contextual signals predicting which businesses will yield the highest reward for this specific user at this specific moment in time. The delayed reward and regret optimization. What is happening is it quickly lowers reward probability for negative feedback. Right? That's all you got to think is reducing regret by shifting traffic to higher performing businesses faster than manual testing, minimizing losses of quality. It handles cold starts by giving new businesses a fair shot through periodic exploration and testing to get a true performance and understand that entity. So for nerds like me, this is an entity relationship in vector space. For the rest of you, it's Google connecting dots that you didn't know exist. The algorithm stitches together in real time. The businesses that win isn't the ones with the most keywords. It's the one with the highest confidence score and the highest trust. This is where you are failing you feel the shift. I'm sure you see, I've seen your conversions dropping, your revenue dropping, but you don't know how to build confidence. So I built a cheat code. We call it the too damn good sheet, AKA the Apex Entity Analyzer. Uses Google Gemini API to reverse engineer Google's brain. Let's boot up bitches. All right, here it is, 100% free. You've got a weapon. Let me teach you how to aim it. Most of you are gonna open this up and you're gonna get overwhelmed by data. Don't do that. Config tab, just drop your API keys. You can change what Gemini model you want. You can actually even click list available models to determining on your API key. Make sure you get the API key from AI Studio, not from cloud. If you're using it for Dotus, drop the API key in here. If not, just put false and don't put anything in there. Add your keywords, your target location, competitors, and you're ready to rumble. But I'm thinking about keywords to so start thinking about a neural network for your entire industry and you want to find the hidden connections that Ahrefs and Simrush can't see. Look over on your structural gap. It will show you what's missing in the entire market. Our first one here, it says uh, service requirement clusters focusing on provider qualifications or permits for major installations. There's no information about what a customer might need uh, or prepare for, for like permits, repairs, data, right? That's fucking gold, baby. That's gold. Here's your schema output. Your graph whiz is a mermaid. You can go to mermaid.live and, and get an actual graphic. Here's the entity density score. Here's our triples. This is huge right here. All right, it's triple subject, predicate, object. This used to be how Google actually measured how truthful a document was back in the day, but 
Anyways, I digress. Here's your network analysis. As you can see, total nodes and clusters. Content roadmap. We've got the actual content that you should be writing, okay? This would be a blog post, a guide, whatever. Bridging opportunities, three-pack priorities. This is really important. Tells you exactly where what you should do for the actual Google business profile, Google Maps listing. Your debug is if you're having issues and if you're using Infrodotus, it will also classify these things for you. She does 90% of the heavy lifting. It finds the sun, it finds the gaps, it writes the triples. All you have to do is execute. The link is right here on the screen. Stop guessing, start engineering. Stop crying about AI overviews. Artificial intelligence and LLMs are the biggest opportunity in the history of all of local SEO. You got to stop acting like a fucking dinosaur. Don't be a bitch. Pimp out.